Christmas is approaching. Even though this video will be released a few days ahead of Christmas 2021, if you think about it, unless it's Christmas Day, Christmas is always approaching. And with Christmas comes the pressure of getting a great gift for someone you care about. Whether Christmas is four days away or 364 days away, I'm going to give you some amazing board game gift ideas that can save your bacon. Welcome to Legendary Tactics. Board games actually make amazing Christmas gifts. They promise fun with family and friends, a mental challenge to keep you sharp during the long winter months, and most importantly, they are easy to wrap. So if you have a few minutes, Legendary Tactics is going to give you some quick recommendations if you're rushing out to do some last minute shopping. First, let's look at buying for your kids. There are lots of great kids games out there and plenty more bad ones. The recommendation I would make is a little game called Dungeon Mayhem. The anecdote is that this game was formulated during the lunch hours of some Wizards of the Coast employees, and a higher up found them playing it, and it eventually became a published game. You can play up to four players, or six with the Monster Madness expansion, which is perfect for a family game. The game itself is pretty straightforward. Each player chooses one character, either a barbarian, paladin, rogue, or wizard, receives a custom deck, and the battle begins. Last person standing after all the magic missiles, whirling axes, and vampiric touches wins. This game has a fun sense of humor, some nice artwork, and simple rules so anyone can play. There is a bit of conflict in this one, so if you prefer cooperative games, this isn't the one for you. If you're after something like that, I would highly recommend Forbidden Island or Forbidden Desert. These are great games as well, but for kids who don't mind a quick battling game, Dungeon Mayhem is my pick. What about for a parent? Well, most parents enjoy the family time, but Christmas can come with a bit of conflict, so let's pick a cooperative game. The Crew. The Quest for Planet Nine is a neat Euchre-style cooperative card game that is popular for good reason. Communication is also a key element in this one, and what family doesn't want to improve their communication? Everyone needs to help each other accomplish their own individual tasks, just like a family. And there's lots of fun to be had here. The base game has 50 missions, so there's lots of replayability, and the game isn't too rules heavy either, which makes it a great recommendation. Now everyone has a friend who is hard to buy for, and what's worse, those friends may not even be big into board games. So we need a couple of safe picks here. The first is the obvious one, Ticket to Ride. This game is so popular that most people have heard of it, even people who aren't gamers. However, I think people underestimate how much fun this game actually is. If you haven't played it, it's a simple game where you build railway tracks across one of any number of different maps, depending on the edition you're playing, in an effort to essentially complete delivery routes for points. A simple game, but one with broad appeal, and that your friend will likely enjoy. The other one that fits this category would be another widely loved favorite, Codenames. There's quite a few editions of this game now, including not only the original, but the two-player duet, one with only pictures, and even one that is a little more adult. In a nutshell, there's a grid of tiles spread out in front of everyone. A team leader is nominated who's given something that looks like a secret map to the tile grid, and tries to get the others to guess as many tiles of their team color as possible with only one word clues. At the same time, the leader doesn't want to accidentally have their team guess the tiles belonging to the other team, or worst of all, the one tile that will lose them the game. It's fun with pretty much any number of people, so it's good for your party going friends and also those who prefer playing something with just a close friend or three. Hopefully you're getting some value out of this video of Christmas gift suggestions. It's our Christmas wish that you take a moment and click the like button on this video to help encourage us to continue making great content for you. What about for your spouse? This can be a tough one depending on the level of interest your spouse has for games and their general attitude towards your board gaming addiction. In this case, I would recommend Pandemic Legacy, mainly because I purchased this game to play with my very own spouse. If you've played Pandemic, you know roughly how this game works. But this is also a legacy game, which means that the board, the cards, and the other pieces evolve with the story that is unfolding in front of you. It's almost like you are gaming a TV show through a whole season. It's a great opportunity for a couple to work together, to improve their communication, and to spend quality time together. And finally, 
While you're out there picking up gifts for others and generally being a selfless and generous soul, why not grab something for yourself while you're at the store? Is there any game that would be great for you to while away the long winter nights? Well, sure. Here's a couple of quick suggestions for solo gamers. Too Many Bones is a game that made a big splash when it was released in 2017. It's what they've called a dice builder role-playing game. You choose a character and go on an adventure, rolling a ton of dice and winning battles, which are each a unique challenge. And after all that, you get to go up against one of a possible number of bosses for the win. It's a neat game with a ton of replayability that will keep you going until next Christmas. Also, for those of you excited about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you might want to consider Marvel Champions, the card game. This is a game that can be played with friends or solo, where you take on single missions to defeat some of comicdom's greatest villains with some of the greatest heroes of all time, all within a reasonable time frame. This game is very customizable, allowing you to attempt a variety of missions with a variety of heroes and to adjust the difficulty of the villain decks as you like, which means there's some sense of progression. And there's also lots of variety to keep your interest, not to mention the obligatory expansions that have multiplied like CGI Chitauri. There's lots of fun to be had here though. So there you are, a few quick suggestions to help you out whether Christmas is coming up soon or whether it's miles away. We hope it helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.